yeah hello all welcome back so in the previous session we have completed the controls in schedule and categories right hmm. now we are going through the schedule and category determination hmm. as we have already seen the item category determination what is the transaction we used to we use for the item category determination it's nothing but yeah v v v o v 4 right v 4 so this is what is item category determination and now we are going to deal with schedule and category determination for which we use the transaction v o v 5 okay this is what the schedule and category determination tab okay see we can also go through the path it's nothing but spro then sap reference img sd then sales and distribution distribution in sales then sales ha huh? sales sales then sales documents sales documents okay we can find it different schedule schedule lines define different schedule define a recent which one on first assign define okay define means mm. you will go through the schedule and category controls right mm. we need to look at okay this one so we have to go through the assign schedule and categories here for the determination one okay, okay. now how the schedule and category will get to determine how item category okay. will get to determine how oh, yeah. is document type is document type uh, item yes, category item group usage, item yeah item group. category will get determined based on sales document type sales document type item category group item category group item, okay item, usage, item category item group group item usage item usage okay item usage higher level item, higher category. Level item category plus higher level item, item category. higher level item right higher level item category okay this is what the determination is for item category then what is the determination rule we use for the schedule and category it is nothing but yeah tell me mm -hmm. item category plus mrp type mm -hmm. item category mm -hmm. plus mrp mm -hmm. type okay so here mm -hmm. where we can see the field item category item category material master uh, sales uh, sales or data to that is item category group right group group uh, group that one this is what is item category yeah. okay this is yeah. what is nothing but this one sales or mm -hmm. sales document okay the one which we have determined in sales document sales document okay and next next one here is mrp type where can yeah. we find this field mrp type material master yeah it's there in material master in which view mrp 1 let me go through one of our materials it is there in mrp right Mm. So here, mm. this one, MRP type. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, how the schedule and category will get determined? It will be get determined based on item category plus item. MRP type. MRP type. Right. Okay. Mm. If the item category is TAN, item category plus MRP type right. Mm. 
if the item category is TIR mm. and if the MRP type is PD. PD means it's mm. relevant for MRP. This one. Okay. Okay. Mm. And one more thing is there. That's nothing but ND, right? Mm. ND means not mm. relevant for MRP. Mm. Okay. So if mm. Item category is TAN and if MRP type is PD, then mm. what will be the schedule and category? CP. Okay. Okay. And if item category is TAN and MRP type is ND, what will be the schedule and category here? CM. That is the main difference between these two, right? One is okay. Related to MRP and the second one is not related to MRP. Mm. So are you clear with it? Clear. Okay. Okay? Clear. Oh, yeah. okay. So if you see here, ND means no planning. It's not relevant for MRP. Mm. Okay? See. Mm. Let me go through. Yeah, let me go through this uh, transaction. BOV6 here. See, mm -hmm. here item category plus MRP type here, right? So let me take TAN. And if the item category is TAN and MRP type is ND, then CN will get a determined. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if TAN mm -hmm. and PD then CP will get determined. Okay. 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 Mm. Which will get determined in the schedule lines, right? In the yeah, in the schedule lines. Yeah, in the schedule lines. Ah, in the schedule lines. Okay. okay. Mm. So here, if item mm. category and MRP type combination is not maintained, for example, here, item category and MRP type combination is not maintained mm. okay mm. then the system will give the preference only to the item category to determine the schedule and category see here there is no MRP type right mm. okay mm. see for example if the MRP type is PD mm. okay and item category is TAN and for TAN and PD the CP will get a determined if this entry is not there, mm. okay, okay, then the system will give the preference to this one. What it means is, if the combination exists, then the schedule and category will get determined based on that combination. Or else, the system will give the second preference only to the item category mm. to get the schedule line to determine in sales document. See, in the schedule and category determination, we have nine manual schedule and categories, mm -hmm. which will be helps us to change the schedule and categories manually in the sales document. See, mm -hmm. for example, based on this rule, TAN and PD, CP is getting determined, right? And here manually you can give CN or CT or CV or whatever it may be. Okay, so if you change it, if you do like this, and if you create one sales order, for example, So let me create one sales order. Here I can show you what exactly the use of the field. So this is what what BANS. Okay. So I think we have changed the item category group of this material. Mm. See, if you go through the schedule lines here, what will be the schedule line category here? It is CP, right? But you can make the changes. You can 
see you can make the changes manually okay. you can make the changes as cv because it is the allowed entry here and if you make the changes to cx then what the system will say will say schedule and category cx is not defined so we have to determine in the vivo v5 like that yeah in yeah in the same way you have to give it as a manual entry uh, cx or see here cv is given as a manual entry so if you give here so, some entries you can give them manually when you are determining the means when you are creating the sales document okay okay okay, okay. so like this mm -hmm. we have level manual item categories in the mm -hmm. item category determination mm -hmm. what is the transaction vo v4 right Mm. Vivo V4. Mm. So here we have eleven item category, manual item categories. Mm. So we can give them and we can make the changes in the sales order manually. Okay. Someone can ask you what exactly the purpose of manual item categories in the item category determination. It's nothing but. Mm. Which will helps us to change the item categories manually while we are creating the sales documents. Okay. Okay. So this is what exactly about schedule and category determination in the same way item category determination. So I think you are clear with this session, and if you have any queries, you can ask me now.